A group of more than 100 House lawmakers on Tuesday sent a letter to the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, asking for an update on its timeline on authorizing COVID-19 vaccines for children, given the current alarming situation. As transmission rates increase and schools reopen for in-person instruction, parents need to know when their kids will be able to get vaccinated, states the letter led by Representatives Ro Khanna and Katie Porter, Democrats of California. The lawmakers wrote that they respect the scientific process and the FDA's dedication to safety, but say that the current rise in cases due to the Delta variant adds urgency to the situation. They request a briefing from the FDA within 10 days on its timeline and where it is in the process of reviewing data from vaccines for children under 12. The current situation is alarming for parents whose children ages 2 to 11 will be in months of school without vaccinations available, the lawmakers wrote. Attention has been rising on the lack of vaccines for children under 12. As schools go back in the session, the number of cases rise among children, though outcomes are still generally seen as less severe for them. The lawmakers cite a letter from the American Academy of Pediatrics this month urging the FDA to move quickly in its efforts to authorize vaccines for children given the threat of the Delta variant. Peter Marks, a top FDA official, said earlier this month that data on vaccines for children ages 5 to 11 could come early in the fall and that it will take a few weeks at least to review them. He also noted, speaking at an event hosted by the COVID-19 Vaccine Education and Equity Pro Project, that the agency may have to take more time and consult advisory committees if there are safety if there are safety questions. So I mostly did this story because I haven't done one on Rowan. I think two or three months. It's been a while um, since there was a story on Roe, but I agree with the letter that, you know, prior to the Delta variant and the increase in cases, there was an understanding that, yeah, they're probably not going to move that fast. But when you have a disease that's just rapidly infecting more people, partially because people are refusing to get vaccinated, some because they're just not wearing masks or actually taking safety precautions, I think it is very urgent and serious um, for officials and people who are experts w when it comes to this disease to try and find a way to protect uh, children, especially when you also add in the fact that a lot of them are going back to school for the first time since uh, the, the COVID saga started in March of last year. And even that's debatable if you want to go back and, you know, it was called COVID-19 because it technically started in December of 2019, but then didn't really become a major thing over here until, you know, March. So, you know, I agree with the letter and I'm, I'm glad that him and Porter are leading it because there, there are legitimate left-wing criticisms of Biden to make uh, when it pertains to his handling of the virus.